now we're going to go over how to create, edit, and share um, saved lists um, in Google Maps on an iPhone. So a reason you might want to uh, create lists is if, say, you have a bunch of restaurants and stuff in the area that you find out you really like and you want to remember that you like it or something like that, you can make a list called, you know, favorite restaurants or something like that, and you can save that restaurant to your list. So whenever you're looking for a place to eat next time, you can just go in your save list here on Google Maps. Um, search through, find what you want, and then you can look up right from there the normal Google Maps information like the hours they're open, menus, get directions to there, stuff like that. So that's one example. Um, another example is maybe you're taking a family trip somewhere um, and you have the addresses of um, where you're staying. If you're moving around and stuff, you might have multiple places you're staying. You can go ahead and create a list with all those addresses and everything and share them with the other members in your family via Google Maps. Um, that way they have all that information too and they can just pull it up in that saved list and click on navigate to whichever place they need to head to next. That way they don't have to copy and paste all that from a text message or something like that. It's right here saved um, in Google Maps for them. So to go ahead and create a new list, we're gonna go ahead and go to saved down here at the bottom once you're in saved, you get a bunch of different options here, but we're going to go ahead and create a new list by hitting the big plus button down in the bottom right hand corner. Once you do that, you get some information here. So you get, we want to name it first and we'll name it food and you can give a description and we'll say my favorite restaurants. And then you have a couple different options. You can make it private. So only you can view and edit it. Um, you can share it, um, and that means anyone with the link can see it. Or you can make it public so anyone using Google Maps or something can kind of search it if they really want to. We're going to leave it on private for now, and I'll go ahead and show you um, how to share it later if you want to. So we'll click Save. So now you can see it pulls up our list here. There's nothing on it. Um, and you can see you get a share button and other things like that. Or you can add places directly um, from here if you want to. But I'm going to show you how to add a place directly from the main Google Maps homepage. Because that's typically how you'll probably add a place to a list. So we'll go back here. We'll go back to the Explore tab down in the bottom left. That's kind of the normal um, area for Google Maps. And we're going to search uh, for a place that we know we like. And I'm going to search for it. And we, I can see my Killian's Barbecue has already shown up. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And you can see it pulls it up just like normal how, um, how it would whenever you're searching something Google Maps. But if we go ahead and just kind of pull up this page at the bottom here where it says Killian's Barbecue, we get a couple different options. Your normal navigate, you can call them, you can see all the other information about them. But you can also see we get a save button here over on the right. So we're going to go ahead and tap on that save button. And as you can see, it pulls up all of our lists here. And we're going to save it under the food list. Once we do that, we can see we can add a note about this place, um, about this restaurant. If you want, you don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and say barbecue. So I remember and we'll click done. Once we go ahead and do that, we can back out of this and we'll exit out and you can see it now has a blue icon. That's always kind of going to be up because we now have it saved in one of our lists. Um, so now if we go back to our saved list, we'll go back and tap on the save button here. And you can see we can go to the food list. And from here you can see Killian's Barbecue is right there. Um, and as you add more things to this list, they'll pop up. Um, and the cool thing about lists, if you just let um, Google organize it for you, um, usually it will, um, the first thing on the list will be the closest thing to you, um, based on your actual location. Um, but again, here you can publish it. If you want to make it totally public, you can add it or you can share it. 
you can add more stuff to it or you can share it with other people. So we're going to go ahead and click on share. And from here, um, you get some options. It says share list. Anyone with the link can view the list and links allow editing. So anyone with the link can modify the list. You can turn that on or off. So if you don't want them editing the list, you can just leave that off, which will, is what we're going to do. And we'll click continue. And from here, you get a bunch of different options. You can airdrop it, text it, email it, a bunch of different options. Just copy it and send it however else you want. And then when you send that to them, they'll be able to open it up and they can save it to their lists um, if they want to. That way it'll always be there for them. That way you can make kind of a communal um, food or restaurant list or something like that. And people can add to it if they want to, if you allow that. So that's how you can kind of go ahead and share it. And if you look at the top of the list here, you'll see these three dots in the top right hand corner, kind of where the picture is. If you tap on that, you get a bunch of different options here. Edit the list, share the list, sharing options, delete the list, cancel. And then the top option here is hide on your map. So if you remember, um, it, the Killian's Barbecue now has that blue icon that's kind of always there. Um, if you don't want that to show up on your map, you can hit hide on your map. And that kind of um, helps out because if you have multiple different lists that have, you know, multiple different places within each list, you're going to end up with a lot of blue icons on your main Google map screen. And that might kind of get annoying or a little bit in the way. So you can go ahead and click hide on your map. And if we go back to the main map, you'll see it's kind of not lit up anymore. It doesn't have that blue icon anymore. So that is how you can kind of go and create new lists, edit them and share them and why you might want to make your own lists. Um, but yeah, that's how you go and create them on Google Maps on an iPhone. Hopefully that helps.